Design and plan any LED wall shape and get instant complete reports for flawless installations. The intuitive drawing tool is integrated with automatic placement of manufacturer panel symbols based on a range of modes, including freeform, aspect ratio, or builder. Assign video content, map power and data connections, or manually modify your LED wall panel layout as you want. You can create simple LED video walls for design concepting or previs in a matter of seconds, and then dive in deeper for the detailed technical planning needed to bring your design to life. Welcome to how to create LED walls in VectorWorks Spotlight. This video concentrates on drawing LED walls, and the second takes a deeper dive into LED wall settings, styles, and video playback. You can jump to the specific sections of this video with these timestamps. Getting started with the LED video wall tool is very fast. Go to the audio video tool set, activate the tool, and select the mode based on what sort of video wall you want to create. If you need a simple wall for concepting or previs, start with freeform. Aspect ratio when you need a specific screen ratio, or builder if you want to start with panels. Let's look at how each of these modes works. In 2D top plan, start with freeform. Select vertex draw mode, leave the height at 4.8 meters and start drawing. You can change the vertex mode to add a curved section into the wall. Double click to finish and now rotate into a 3D view. Your basic LED wall is finished and already has an image map to it. Freeform is great when you want an initial concept and aren't worried about walls with a specific aspect ratio or panel size. If you want to draw a wall with a specific aspect ratio, change mode to aspect. Enter the aspect ratio into the tool mode bar and start drawing. As you draw, the wall size will jump up based on the aspect ratio you're using. The last primary mode is Builder. After activating it, define the number of panel columns and rows. When you start drawing, the wall is created with a fixed size based on your settings and the default panel symbol. Let's take a look at the more specialized draw modes, like Center Out and how to get a generic panel preview as you draw. Setting the LED wall tool to display a preview while you draw is done in the Attributes and Classes section of the Tool Preferences. You'll need to toggle on user panel and curve increments, and then enter the panel width you want to use for the preview, or 500 millimeters, for example. Let's combine this with freeform mode and select center draw. Now, as you draw, the wall is mirrored in the opposite direction, and the length will draw in panel width increments. Just like regular freeform mode, you can add curved sections by changing the vertex draw mode. This is really useful when you need to center the wall to a scenic element or create a symmetrically curved wall. One thing to note is that the finished wall will still be created without panels. The circular draw modes give you the ability to quickly draw a circle and have video playback on either the inside or the outside of the circular screen it creates. Last up is rectangular. This helps you create LED dance floors and walls at an angle. You can either draw on the current layer plane or set a working plane for an angled wall. Draw a rectangle and it will be converted into an LED video wall or floor. One of the keys for building an LED wall is the choice of panel. LED wall shapes are dependent on the size and type of panels available to you. To choose the panel you want to draw with, open the Tool Preferences and go to the Panels tab. You can pick a primary panel from the library. And if you need it, perimeter panels for the edges of your wall. Before you pick a panel, you need to decide if you want to draw a curved wall or not. Flat, non-segmented panels, like the row carbon, are able to have angled connections between panels but the panels themselves are rigid. 
So let's have a look at drawing with a real carbon panel. When you pick a panel, you'll see a lot of data about the panel displayed in the middle section of the dialogue. This is all taken from the manufacturer's technical specifications based on the panel you currently have selected. Once you've selected the panel, go to the glasses and attributes pane and set the concave and convex joint maximum degrees. By default, this is set to 10 degrees and 15 degrees, which matches the carbon tech specs. If you're drawing with a panel that doesn't allow angle connections, set these to zero. The drawing preview now displays the panel geometry as part of the preview and the wall length increments by panel dimensions. You can add corners into the wall, but because you cannot draw a true curve with it, only angle segments based on the wall's preferences that you have just set. Your finished wall will use the panel symbol geometry. To draw true curved screens, you must select a segmented panel or an infinite panel. Let's use a pixel flex flex curtain. Update the preview to see what it will look like. Just like before, when using a segmented or infinite panel, the wall will increment its size based on the dimensions of the panel you are drawing with. Hit P to change the tool mode to tangent arc and add the curve section. Another way that you can create a curved screen with manufacturer panels is to use one of the static curved panels. The diameter of your screen will be fixed based on the symbol you choose. There are times that your wall design will not perfectly align with your chosen panel's dimensions. Assigning perimeter panels with different dimensions gives you more flexibility. Select each perimeter panel in the same way as the main panel and set its position. You can assign multiple perimeter panels, each with a different position. Update the preview pane to see where your panels will be added and how the resulting wall will look after your changes. Setting up how your wall will be hung or standing is done in the wall support section of the preferences. You can draw with supports already chosen or add them later. Choose whether your wall is ground supported or top supported with the checkboxes. If you don't want to add support symbols but need your wall at a specific height, add an offset. Select the support symbol from our library and add them to your wall. Then update the preview to check the results. When you select a support symbol, its specs will be displayed in the center pane. You can combine several support symbols in your wall to ensure it will be safe to rig on site. When you draw your wall onto a truss, the support clamps or drops will correctly align to the truss cords and the panels will be vertically offset to line up with them. If you add the top supports after drawing the wall, they will be updated to correctly align with the truss cords in the same way. Using ground supports works the same way. When you draw them with the wall, they will be included and the panels will offset upwards to provide space for the supports. And adding them afterwards to your wall will trigger the wall to auto-update to add them. By default, when you add a new video wall, a basic image is displayed, so you can see how it will look with content playing. But how do you set the wall to use your own image? The quickest option is to use the image settings section of the object properties. You can also do this in the visualization section of the settings, which will be covered in more detail in chapter two. Use the screen image resource selected to pick the image you want. Scale it to fit your wall, rotate the image if needed, Set the vertical and horizontal shift and control if the image will be tiled or not with the toggle. The select video file button will not be active if you haven't set the wall to use a video file for playback in the visualization section of the LED wall preferences. We'll look at this in a lot more detail in chapter two. Now that you've seen how LED walls can be drawn, you're ready to dive in and add LED walls to your designs.
The next video will go through LED wall preferences, setting up and controlling video playback, and using the preferences to create LED wall styles. Explore Vectorworks today. For more information, please check out the Vectorworks University online help or the Vectorworks AI assistant.